Well, good morning, everyone. It's a cold and windy day. Um, we've got some stuff planned to knock out and uh, got to do some things before I can get to the big project. I want to show you something. I want to show you something that's very rare. A clean shop. Look at that. Nice clean shop. All that stuff in the back is still part of a future plan, all that cardboard. And, uh, and, uh, well, now that it's nice and clean, let's go ahead and get it all nice and messy. All right, so what do we got to work on today? This big old heavy thing. Hopefully the, uh, the instructions are clear and uh, hopefully we get it all done today. All right, let's get to it.
All right, so once again, the camera is messing up. Uh, it's telling me that it's overheating and it's like 40 degrees outside. Not quite sure what's up with that, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did. All right, so in the kit, it comes with a roll of this wire. I don't know if you can see that wire right there. And the idea is you're supposed to stitch it the seams of the uh, this chicken wire. Well, that was taking forever. And it wasn't very, working very well for me, so I decided to move over to J clips that we use for like rabbit cages and stuff. And I, uh, I just went ahead and made it like I just went ahead and and uh, used those instead of that wire. You know what I'm talking about? That's them. And now I already had this on hand, so uh, not that big of a deal for me. But um, so far it's, it's working. I've been taking my time too. I haven't really been spending a lot of effort trying to tie it down. It's only temporarily down, but I have a plan for that. And obviously the sides aren't up yet, so I'll have to figure that out too. But um, it's getting close to milking time, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wrap it up for the day. And then uh, we'll just pick this up again tomorrow. All right, seated. All right, it's a new day. I've got limited time. Let's get back to this project. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. as much as we can tonight because it's now day two of this project and 
that's way too long. That's way too long. Uh, so what I went ahead and did was I went ahead and wrapped everything around. And it's uh, somewhat secure. I cut out the door for it. Um, I still got to trim all this up in here. And then probably tomorrow I'm going to go back through and tie that off. Uh, but uh, now, now it's time to quit for the night because I got to go feed the little nugs. So uh, see you in the morning. Alrighty, it's a new day. Uh, this project's taking a little bit longer than I like. I got other projects that are starting to stack up. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, record a little bit of it, turn off the camera, and then come back when I'm at a stoppy port or I'm done. Alrighty, so I'm back uh, and I've already put on all this netting and I can already tell that I need to make some improvements to this. Uh, the way this is put together, it's got these little unions right here and you slide them together, but they're a little flimsy. So I'm thinking about putting some cross bracing, get, getting some like, I don't know, some, getting some like EMT or something and Going from that corner to that corner and that corner to that corner so I can move this thing around and hopefully that'll sure it up when I move it around. I don't know. But um, it's getting close to milking time and I'd like to get a snack. So, uh, this project is not done but um we're getting there we're getting there all right see you in a bit so surprise surprise the audio did not record for this part of the video we really need to get a new camera so i'm going to pretend i'm jesse and talk about what i think he's talking about because i can't remember but he ended up getting some 10 foot emt pipe which he's just going to use the, the vice grips to hold in place and a pipe cutter to cut to size. And that's pretty much what he's doing right here is just cutting them to size. But before he takes it out of the vice, vice clips, he'll actually mark the top of each end of the pipe. That way when he goes to flatten it, each end is flattened on the same angle so he can use that to attach it to the existing structure. And since this pipe isn't super thick, it's really easy just to flatten with a sledgehammer and he just uses a sledgehammer on top of the vise and flattens them out. Pretty simple.
So apparently our camera just decided that it didn't want to film any type of audio and nobody noticed until I went to edit it a week later. So there is no audio for our outro, but as you can see, the Thunderdome is officially done. It even has its nice sign put up. And so we've got some plans to keep one of our bucks in there for right now for breeding until we get the other half of the herd bred which will be in an upcoming video. And then we'll be using it for the new animal that we're getting this week, actually, it arrives. So be sure to subscribe to see what the new addition is. And if you haven't already hit that like button and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.